Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. Solomon once wrote, God has planted eternity in men's hearts and minds. The Amplified Bible describes it as a divinely implanted sense of a purpose working through the ages, which nothing under the sun but God alone can satisfy. That's Ecclesiastes 3.11. God has given to each one of us a unique sense of eternity, an awareness of eternity, an innate knowledge of eternity. When God created man, he did so according to his own image and likeness. And that means man is above all the other forms and creatures of creation because he is like God. With God, there is no beginning and no end. And since man is not God, but he is like God, he has a beginning but no end. He was given the breath of life in the Garden of Eden, not merely air or oxygen, but he was given spirit life, God life, transcendent life, forever life. Every human being, every son and daughter of Adam is eternal in their essence. There is no end. They never cease to exist. As Solomon says, eternity has been planted in all of us. Your life can be diagrammed as a vector, which has a point of origin, a dot, with an unending line extending from it. So my life on earth, no matter how long it is, is always going to be that dot, that brief moment, whereas that unending line will be my eternity. There's never going to be a dot at the end of that line because eternity, by definition, has no end. So carrying an awareness of eternity and looking toward the next life gives me insight and wisdom for this life. What basic insights might I gain? Well, one is this, very simply, my life on earth is not all there is. Earth is not my forever home, it's not permanent, it's not the full picture. It looks that way, it seems that way, but it's not. The witness of eternity within me says, earth is not it, it's not the center, it's not the brass ring, it's not the goal, it's not the prize. It's just the dot. And the prize is not some level of success or attainment or achievement or some great acquisition in this life because it's not here. Creation itself confirms this message of the comparable significance of earth and this life in relation to eternity. For instance, consider our universe. The earth is just a microscopic speck in the midst of the Milky Way galaxy, which is just one galaxy among millions. The earth is a very small part of a very big picture and a much larger setting. Consider our solar system. The earth is not the center of our solar system. The sun is. The earth revolves around something much greater. The true purpose and meaning of life does not revolve around this life. It's not found in this life. It's not built around this life. Life is meant to, result, to revolve around the sun, the S-O-N, the Son of God. Consider the size of the earth. It's not even close to being the biggest planet. Other planets are much larger, greater, and much more immense. So to place all importance, value, meaning, significance, energy, and investment in this life and only in earthly things is a fatal error. We should really live for where we're headed and where we're going rather than where we are. To live for a permanent eternity rather than a temporary moment. To live 
for the line rather than just the dot. Is that how you're living your life right now? Stay tuned next week for more insights from eternity. God bless.